Sunday, we often call the Lord's Day in honor of his resurrection. I want you to understand that the seventh day it was ordained in Eden in Genesis 2. It was observed as Shabbat before the giving of the law because it was ordained in Genesis 2. The law was given in Exodus 20. They did not gather manna on Shabbat in Exodus 16. That's four chapters before the law was given. I want you to understand that Shabbat is not just a Jewish thing. It becomes idiomatic of the Jewish people, of course. The law was given at Mount Sinai in Exodus 20. The Antichrist will seek to change the times and the laws, Dan warns us. So let's be aware of that. It's interesting how calendars, especially in Europe, take Monday as the first day of the week and make Sunday the seventh day of the week. That's not biblical. Monday is not the first day of the week, neither is Sunday the seventh, but that's again Satan's attempt to obscure the reality. Monday is not the first day of the week, nor is Sunday the seventh. Now, on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came to the sepulcher, and that is referring to what we call Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week, as the Bible clearly denotes, as early as the book of Genesis chapter 2. And uh, it's interesting that throughout the Bible, we are admonished, do not move the ancient landmarks. And most of us regard that as simply property issues. No, the rabbis feel that that's an admonition not to change God's landmarks, which includes his calendar. You don't diddle with God's calendar. The millennial temple, we discover, in the future, will only be open on Shabbat and the new moon. It won't be open on Sunday. That's kind of interesting. 